Hi honeys, welcome back to my channel. My name is B. If you're new here, don't forget to look at the description box. I do have a small description about me if you're curious. In today's reading, we're going to be figuring out why do you keep dreaming about them? That person that's in your mind, why do you keep dreaming about them? Timestamps are always down below in the description box. I'll see you at your pile. Hi pile number one, you guys chose the green floor at Crystal. So why do you keep dreaming about them? I want you to close your eyes and really envision this person that you have on your mind. And that way you can send those vibrations to me so I can pick it up and I can see them. Alright pile number one, so I'm seeing that this person really is infatuated by you. And there's something about your aura that they have become addicted to. So I feel like it's not anything in your subconscious that you are picking up this person in your dreams. I feel like this person is intentionally sneaking into your dreams. And I'm also getting that they're sneaking into your dreams because they miss you and they want to communicate with you. They want to talk to you. They want to have a conversation and they want to clear the murky waters between you guys. I'm also hearing to rebuild a bridge because I feel like in the past there was burnt bridges. They probably burnt the bridge between you guys, but I'm hearing that they want to rebuild the connection with you. This person also has a lot of trouble sleeping as well because they continuously think about you like during their waking moments. I'm seeing that this person has you on the back of their mind constantly. They cannot stop thinking about you. So let's go ahead and get right into your tarot. This person feels a strong soul tie to you. It's no doubt. I'm seeing here with the world that they feel like things are not over. That they want you to come back into their life because I'm seeing that you were super helpful when you were a part of this person's life. I'm also seeing that you had to give a lot of beautiful time and patience to this person and that's something that they'll never forget. I'm seeing as well with the two of wands, this is somebody that may have chosen a different path in life or you could have chosen a different path and walked down two different roads, but I'm seeing that this person wants to reconnect again, like building that bridge with you. You two may be very different as far as like personality types. One person can be more relaxed, calm, um, peaceful, and then the other person can be really rambunctious, out there, super energetic. So I'm seeing that there's a difference between personalities here. There's also a difference between belief systems. So maybe somebody can really believe in the occult and then the other person may be agnostic and believes in everything all at once or really doesn't know what to believe. So I'm seeing that there's a huge difference between personality types and that's how you can identify this person. If this person identifies as being a woman, then this person really has that feminine nature about them. They could be a mother or they could talk about wanting to have kids in the future. They may have pets that they treat as children or siblings that they treat as children as well. Or if it's a person that identifies as a man, then this person really admires being a father figure to other people. They could be a father figure to their friends, their family members. I'm seeing that maybe if this is a masculine energy, they really have taken the time to step up into a father role. They stalk you heavily. Like with the world card here, I'm seeing that they're constantly on your social media, looking at what you're doing. They have your social media some way, somehow. And if it's not social media, then they know people that are around you. They have mutual friends that they really talk to about you just to check on you and see how you're doing. This person could be an authority figure with the Emperor and the King of Wands. They could have a power of position. Um, and for some of you, I'm getting that this may very well be like a boss to you or this could be a boss. Um, they could be a boss somewhere in their work life. Others of you, I'm hearing that that's not the case. This person that's creeping into your dreams may very well be a family member or somebody that you look to as a father figure. Again, circumstances are going to be different. So if it doesn't resonate, don't take it. They want to come back into your life and make things right with you because I'm seeing that in the past they were very unfair. They may have treated you very maliciously and they could have this intense way of communicating, meaning that if they are in this masculine energy, whether their gender is male, female, or in between, they have this intense masculine energy that makes them communicate in a very strict and direct way. I'm seeing that the way that things ended between the both of you was really intense and it may have ended in a very undiplomatic way again they want to fix this with you they want to come back into your life and they want to show you that they can be a good person to have around your energy with the devil card paired with the moon i'm getting that you may very well least expect this person to be obsessed with you i'm seeing that you don't really know this about this person that they have this obsessive nature when it comes to you but best believe this person is obsessed they cannot get you out of their mind they're constantly thinking about you they're constantly wondering what you're doing who you're 
you're with if you're happy i'm also seeing something sexual here as well this person of course if it's not a family member okay take what resonates but i'm seeing that this person heavily wants to have a sexual connection with you if this is a romantic interest for a generalized message though, I am hearing that this person that's being represented by this devil card, they cannot get you out of their mind. There's something here that they regret. There's something here on their consciousness and it's really bothering them. They need to get it off their chest. They want to talk to you and they want to make amends because they feel heavily guilty. And this is why you constantly see this person in your dreams. I'm seeing that when they sneak into your dreams, they're constantly trying to talk to you, but it's almost like you don't give them the time of day. Or if they do come around you in the dream realm, I'm seeing that you're standing right next to them, but for some reason their throat chakra is really blocked and they don't get any words out. Whoever this person is, I'm seeing that they are very handsome or beautiful and they are a hard worker. I'm seeing that there's something really genuine about this person's personality type. However, I'm just not too certain if you're going to want to communicate with this person because I'm seeing that there's something here about you building boundaries and not allowing yourself to get close to this person ever again. There's something here that they did that really made you feel like you were treated unfairly or that you were treated badly and you needed to walk away from the situation. So it, again, it's up to your discretion if you want to be a part of this person's life i am seeing that they're willing to make changes to their personality um, make changes to their bad habits so that they treat you a lot fairer next time advice from spirit is basically you may need to say no to this person coming back into your life i feel like your spirit guides have really worked hard with you to get out of the situation with whoever this person is i feel like they have tried their best to keep you away from them and to help build your confidence to create those boundaries so some of you may very well need to look at this person and say no if they creep up in your dreams and you feel like your spirit guides are pulling you away and you know that's what's best then don't be afraid to shut them down i'm also seeing here as well that this person may very well be a twin flame for some of you out there and this is somebody that's vibrating in a very low frequency they are constantly being triggered by you and it's not in the healthiest way because I'm hearing that it's bringing out all of this toxicness within them. For a generalized message with the mirror triggering, I'm seeing that you have this beautiful divine light about you and you're constantly triggering this person. You're making them become envious, jealous, hateful, spiteful, and you're really showing them all of the stuff that they need to work on. I'm seeing here with dance with life, do something to change your energy. So try your best to not focus or dwell on this person too much i'm hearing from your spiritual team that if you were to kindly ask your spiritual team to stop this person from showing up in your dreams they will do that for you just so you feel like you're not being pulled back into those toxic ties um, but for others of you i'm hearing that you may very well want to give this person a chance to talk you may want to sit down from this person and hear them out and see if there's something that you can rebuild again there's a bunch of you watching this pile, so like I always recommend, pair up with your spiritual team and see how you feel inside to see if that's something you want to do. I am hearing a channeled song for you guys, so that song is going to be Once Upon a Dream by Lana Del Rey. This person may have curly hair, wavy hair, and I'm also seeing that it may be long. And if it's a masculine energy, I'm seeing that they work out a lot. They take very good care of their body. If it's a female energy, I'm seeing them right now really focusing on themselves. However, in the back of their mind, they cannot forget you and they're constantly obsessing over you, wondering what you're doing, where you're at, and who you're with. If it's a masculine energy, I'm seeing that they are watching you heavily on your social media whatever you're posting whatever you're doing they cannot stop looking at you because they are so sexually attracted to you and they're also feeling like you can emotionally heal them as well here are the words and also the initials that i'm seeing for your pile again with the initials always take what resonates this could be you this could be your person's initials your family initials so take whatever resonates all right and also these words feel free to make any sentences or pull out specific words like for right now i am focusing on the word secret so i feel like this person has quite a lot of secrets that they really want to confess to you if this resonated don't forget to leave me a like comment down below make sure you subscribe and like i always say i hope you're life continues to stay as sweet as you are bye number two you guys shows this beautiful crystal right here so this reading is going to be why do you keep dreaming about them that specific person that keeps showing up in your dreams right away i'm getting some strong energy i feel like this could be a love interest right off the bat 
Um, again, different circumstances. So if that doesn't resonate, don't worry. We're going to pull the cards. But I am saying that this is somebody that constantly hopes that you're doing okay. They really pray for your well-being and they want to make sure that you are living your best life. I feel like this is somebody that is sneaking up in your dreams because they have not stopped thinking about you. What ends up happening is if somebody continuously thinks about you, they begin to manifest themselves into your dreams. Along with manifestation, I do see that this person is manifesting you. They want to manifest you back into their life this person is strongly manifesting you and whether that means different circumstances for you out there this can mean manifesting a long-term connection this can mean manifesting a business relationship but i am saying that this person is manifesting you all right let's go ahead and get right into your tarot pal number two so i am seeing that this is somebody from your past this is somebody that wants a second chance with you they want to show you that they can be the person that you need whether that's a partner um, a friend but this is somebody that wants Wants to try again with you they want to rebuild a connection with you because i am seeing that in the recent past they were really struggling with addictions bad habits and also a lot of anxiety i'm seeing that this person also struggles from low self-esteem as well so i'm seeing that they have this natural tendency to self-sabotage anything good in their life I'm seeing that in the recent past, you really let this person go. You kind of left them in the cold because they were not treating you in the way that you wanted to be treated. Again, this is somebody that was really wrapped up in their own mental anguish and they did not know that you were this beautiful diamond right in front of them. It's almost like they had trouble seeing your worth at first, but now that they've taken a few steps back, they realize that they missed this opportunity with you. They're seeing you glowing, they're seeing you shine, and they're realizing they want to come back into your life. So I'm also seeing here as well that this person cannot help but creep into your dreams because that's the only way that they feel close to you that's the only way they can get right back into your energy and really get comfortable with you again i'm seeing i'm hearing something about like test the waters so when they creep into your dreams they are testing the waters with you and they're seeing how you would treat them in the dream realm and comparing that to the 3d for example i am getting a scenario or an image in my head i'm seeing that this person will naturally approach you in your dreams and be very very kind to you and they will see how you will treat them i'm getting that a lot of you have treated this person with kindness in the dream realm so it's almost like this person is feeling really good right now about reaching out to you and contacting you because of how well that dream went i'm also hearing a dream spell so this person purposefully sneaked into your dreams by doing a dream spell on you and seeing how you would treat them so that they can test the waters and get closer to you also something here about them really missing missing your energy they miss being in your energy they miss talking to you they miss being with somebody that really understands them as a person they may also be seeing you like move on with your life doing better for yourself you may be making a lot of money or just having a really good career taking really good care of yourself your body and they see that you have glown up so much that they are realizing they're missing out i'm hearing that they want to start a family with you they want to grow and mature with you and i'm hearing that they feel like you can make them a better person they feel like you can make them someone so kind and soft because you have this really nurturing energy about you it's something that they're not used to but they want to try to get used to i feel like this is why they pushed you away in the past they were not ready to grow they were not ready to look at themselves in the mirror and see all of their insecurities that they need to fix i feel like you were this mirror energy for this person that they really got triggered by but now they're realizing as time has gone by and you pulled back your energy that they want that again they want to feel the energy from you again and they actually want to grow they feel like they're ready to grow this time i'm hearing from your spirit guides that some of you may be really reluctant to let this person in and some of you are willing to let this person in so again i feel like my viewers are really split in two uh, whatever path you choose i feel like you can never choose wrong as long as you're always choosing for yourself some of you may also be hearing songs in your dream like while you're dreaming there's a song playing in the background pay attention to that i'm also seeing that in the dream with this person you're seeing very significant numbers i'm seeing the number six seven 
and eight. It's almost like a countdown, six, seven, eight, or a count up, sorry. But I'm also hearing as well that some of you have been expecting this person to reach out. You just don't know when. I feel like they have been thinking about reaching out, but whenever they start to like type the message or press the call button, they get filled with a lot of anxiety. Again, that self-sabotaging behavior, they decide to delete the message or delete the numbers. I feel like Spirit is really working on this person. They're working with this person to rebuild their confidence so that they can reach out to you, so that they can start a conversation with you. And I'm also hearing from your Spirit Guides that they are finally accepting Spirit's help instead of pushing it away because i feel like naturally in the past this person had a tendency to be arrogant stuck up selfish maybe a little bit narcissistic they only cared about themselves and they only cared about their own opinion they always thought that they were right but i'm hearing from spirit that you really taught this person a lesson by you cutting this person out and building boundaries this person learned that they cannot go about life treating people the way that they want and they cannot go about life thinking that they're always right so i'm hearing from spirit that they want to commend you because you really made their job easier by reaching out to this person and putting a stop to their behavior i'm hearing that you may have told this person off or you blocked them on social media and you just kind of showed them that their behavior is unacceptable and it's not going to work with you you have a high self-esteem you take care of yourself, you look at yourself in a very high lighting, and you know what your worth is. Be expecting a call from this person. As I was doing your reading, a weird like number dialed me for like two seconds and then stopped. So I'm getting that if you're having a lot of weird numbers reaching out to you, I don't want to specifically say that it's them, but I'm getting that this is a high indication or a high sign that they are going to be reaching out to you either by phone, text, email, DM, wherever they can reach you, they're going to try. Just to make this reading resonate a lot more, as I was channeling these messages and as I continue to do more tarot cards for you guys, I am getting that the spirit guide that's really close to you and loves to help you is either a grandma that has passed away, a grandfather, or also a friend. They're like really stepping into this reading and guiding me and helping me channel all of these messages. So I feel like the higher realms are bringing you and this person closer together. You might feel this strong soul connection with them. They could be your soulmate your twin flame or just your divine counterpart someone that has been brought into your life for a higher divine purpose whomever this spirit guide or angel guide belongs to just know that they're very nurturing and also very kind i don't know why i feel like i need to say that but i feel like it's going to resonate for a couple of you here that have had a loved one pass away so your spirit guide's advice is this remember that you are a pillar of light you are somebody that has a beautiful aura and whoever you touch you help them grow it's almost like you can touch a plant and then all of a sudden it's literally growing to the healthiest plant ever but i'm hearing that never forget this about you because you're constantly going to be triggering other people it may be frustrating to you because those people run away but just remember when they're ready to grow they usually come back also make sure you take a break i'm hearing that you work hard you work too hard and you don't give your body a rest if it's not work then you're constantly thinking and you don't give your brain a moment to relax and make sure you break the chain i feel like that's the reason why somebody's ancestor or like family member or friend is really stepping into this reading they want to talk to you about breaking those ancestral patterns that have been continuing on from generation to generation so remember your worth never forget it i feel like that's why you're so stuck on i will never forget my worth because you have looked at your past family members and realized maybe they forgot their worth at one point but that's not going to be the case with you i'm hearing that you are constantly being divinely guided to always remember that you are worth so much more than just somebody giving you the bare minimum so here's what your person may or may not look like um, i'm getting that for some of you here this person is very studious they love to study they love to read they also can be a little bit snobby like i mentioned and they really have this idea that materialistic things give them a lot of like pride and ego and also some popularity so that's something that spirit's really helping them grow out of and to learn that that's not okay to think like that i'm seeing that this person has tried to manifest you in the past they've tried to do like spell work on you um, i'm also hearing if that's not the case and this person has tried to pay other people to do this spell work uh, whatever the case is it's not working on you because as you can see here from this figure in this card you're just too powerful for that you're too powerful for mediocre magic 
777. That's a number that you may also be seeing as well. It's a very significant number. Whenever you see that number, just know that it's this person trying to communicate with you and talk to you. I'm also seeing that they may have a drug addiction or gambling problem or something about their money and finances that they have wasted away. I'm hearing that they may have made some big purchases or made some big expenses that they lost a lot of their finances. And this is also why they are taking forever to come back into your life. Spirit is trying to talk to them and tell them it's okay that they don't have a lot of money because they're trying to teach them you are not a shallow person. But again, working with somebody like that is going to take some time. So your spirit guides want to say thank you for being patient. Here are the initials and also the words that I pulled for you guys. And as I was doing that as well, I was hearing two songs. It's going to be Beautiful by Sean Kingston and also The Show Goes On. So again, with these initials, they can either be your initials, this person's initials, or somebody close to you's initials. And with these words, feel free to pull them out, any key words that you see that really resonates with you. Like I always say, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to leave me a like, comment down below, make sure you subscribe, and I hope your life continues to stay as sweet as you are. Bye. Hi, pile number three, you guys chose the Veracruz Amethyst. So why has this person been showing up in your dreams? And I'm going to go ahead and start by describing your person because I feel like there's something really interesting about them as well. I'm picking up that this person is very psychically in tuned or very psychically gifted. I'm getting that this person loves to meditate, study, do yoga, really take care of their body. There's also something here about them loving to eat. They love food. They're really into nutrition. And I'm also seeing as well, this person may very well be a part of the psychic community doing tarot work or Reiki healing. If that's not the case, then this person is just naturally very healing. Like I'm getting they'll touch something and that thing that they touch is automatically healed. I'm getting like it could be a plant. It could be whatever they do, honestly. They also love to dream about you. I'm seeing that this person is very sleepy. Uh, I'm getting something about like sleeping beauty. So I feel like this person loves to sleep. And when they do sleep, they constantly dream about you. So not only are they creeping up into your dreams, but you're also creeping up into their dreams as well. This could be somebody that is very soft-spoken or just quiet um, when you first meet them. But I'm also seeing as well, after you get to know them, this person is really talkative and they also talk a lot and they talk fast. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and let's get right into your tarot cards. So I'm seeing that this person loves to creep up into your dreams and they try to act very kind, loving, and nurturing. I'm seeing that naturally this person can be a very dominating person, meaning that they have a very big aura, big personality, um, big opinions. You know, they're very opinionated and they say what they want and they say how they like it. So I'm seeing that with you, however, you really calm this person down and you make them get more in tune with their feminine side. You bring out this nurturing, kind energy about them. It's something very new for them. I'm seeing that naturally this person grew up in a household where they had to be an authority figure and they had to take care of themselves and the people around them. But with you, they feel like they can really put their guard down. So in the dreams that you're having about this person, I'm seeing that this person can be really touchy-feely. They may talk to you very kindly. Um, you may notice that this person likes to touch your hair or touch your arm. I'm seeing something about touch, heavily about touch here. Some of you have also recently had a dream about this person as well and i feel like you stumbled upon this reading for clarity so i'm glad you did but i feel like this was fairly recent when you jumped about this person now as i mentioned before this person is very spiritually inclined they have this psychic ability about them and because they are so psychically gifted and so psychically in tuned they use this power this ability within them to sneak into your dreams this may very well be a person that knows how to control um, i believe it's um, astral projection where they know how to control their dreams and they also have very lucid dreams as well constantly dreaming about you constantly visiting you i'm also hearing that they love your energy there's something beautiful about your energy when they're around you they they love the person that they are if that makes any sense i'm hearing that without you they feel lost i'm hearing a song um, i'm so lost without you all right so i had to google it really quickly but it's going to be air supply all out of love 
So again, they love the person that you really turn them into and they love that they can be this feminine nature with you. They view you as somebody that's very strong, protective, and also very safe. So not only do they feel like they can really let down their guards with you, but they also feel like if anything were to happen, you would protect them. And that's why this person naturally creeps up into your dreams is because they love that about you. They also love you. With the Two of Cups here, I'm seeing that there's something about them wanting to connect with you in the 5D because they feel like that's really the only way that they can get close to you. I'm also seeing an image. I'm seeing like different colors. So some of you could dream very vividly as well, just like this person you're inquiring about. Some of you have some very lucid dreams, very vivid dreams, and you could dream in color. I'm seeing light blues. I'm also seeing uh, pinks, red, and I'm seeing roses as well. I'm hearing that this person, their favorite time to sneak into your dreams is when they're going through something very hard. So I feel like recently they have gone through some extenuating circumstances in life that have really broken their heart and put them in a very dark place. And so naturally what ends up happening is they, they love to turn to you. Again, they feel safe, protected, loved when they're around you. I feel like there's some type of um, like circumstances in the 3D keeping you guys apart. So what they do i'm seeing i'm seeing like this whole visualization that this person does they like lay down close their eyes and they begin to like meditate or like do some type of translucive work here and i'm seeing that once they begin to meditate they fully relax their body and they slip into the dream realm and that's where they're able to connect with you i know it sounds low-key kind of creepy but also really cool because that ability not everyone can do so i'm also hearing from your spirit guides that some of you that are listening to this you're also very spiritually inclined you have some psychic abilities it may be different than this person but i'm saying bo the both of you tend to creep into each other's dreams I'm also getting you both do this for the same reason so let's say you're going through a hard time or a tough time in life and you're really missing this person you'll notice that night you go to sleep you dream about them as well so the crazy thing about all of this i'm hearing from your spiritual team is like you guys have not had a conversation about the dreams you've had of each other but I feel like once you guys get to that point of communication where you guys are sitting across from each other and talking about your dreams that you've had about one another you're going to have some similar dreams for example you could possibly talk to them and say like yeah I dreamt that you and I were in a bowling alley and we were talking and, and kissing and whatever and we were having a great time then you notice that person is like oh my gosh no way I had the same dream that's because you guys are meeting each other in the 5d i'm seeing that your souls really miss each other um, and also not only that but you guys go together like magnets it's like your your higher selves cannot stay away from each other you constantly want to be next to each other and in each other's energy so this is a divine union, no doubt. This is something so divine, a divine love. And I'm hearing that the reason you guys have been uh, kept away from each other is because both of you need to do a lot of inner healing. You guys need to go through your own soul paths at the moment. But I do see in the future you guys coming together and union happening. But for right now, just be expecting this person is going to constantly be in your dreams, okay? They're going to be reaching out to you that way because, again, they really love you. They love to be around you and they feel protected by you. I'm also saying whenever you dream about this person, it's all good vibes. Like you guys have such beautiful times together in the astral realms. I'm seeing some of your guys' dreams and I'm just going to go through one scenario. So I'm seeing that the both of you, um, I hope this resonates with somebody, but the both of you went on a date in this dream. And this date was very romantic. I'm seeing that you were around other friends as well. It's almost like a friend group, but low-key you guys went on a date, if that makes sense. And I feel like you guys kind of crapped away from this group and went to a secluded area with just the two of you and it's just pure talk like you guys are just talking having fun catching up getting to know each other and really there's like a lot of touch so i'm getting that maybe both of you can be very sensual people and you love touch this person also feels like they need to keep their dreams about you a secret for whatever reason this person has really been keeping these dreams about you a secret and i feel like they're going to continue to until when you guys finally get together in the 3d and you guys can have a conversation about those dreams but yeah this is basically who this person is to you i feel like it's no surprise and it's also no shock i feel like you have been feeling this soul connection with this person for a long time and you've also been having dreams about them for a long time as well the spirits messages here as well i'm seeing that this person of yours 
um, they really love your higher self if that makes sense like for example they love to meditate and connect with your higher self's energy so this person has a strong connection even their like their 3d self not just their higher self but their 3d self loves to connect with your higher self i feel like they do this when they're meditating or when they're doing their like psychic work for example reiki or tarot this person is really connecting to your energy light worker you could also be a light worker as well i'm just somebody that's known for having a very light-hearted energy somebody that's calm caring and also healing i called it you guys but this person has been brought here for a higher purpose and so have you like i did mention this is going to be a divine love both of you were brought here to uplift humanity and also change humanity as well for the better so your person could have a very youthful look but they are also like an old soul or they may do like old people activities i know that sounds funny but this person may like to read or do cross puzzles or just really like they're really old-fashioned and they are really traditional person they love to take their time with everything they do whether that's like cooking studying whatever it is i feel like they're really easygoing and they know that life is so much more than what it seems for example even though people are like clearly seeing with their eyesight or whatever, this person knows that deep down they have that third eye energy where they can see different things and they can see higher dimensions or connect with higher dimensional beings. So that's really cool about your person. I'm also seeing that they like to hide this intuitive ability behind a mask. So they're not going to walk around and show people like, look at me, look what I can do. I can have all like all these psychic abilities. No, I feel like this person tends to mask that. They're also shy, like I mentioned at the beginning they kind of keep more to themselves so that's a way you can identify this person there's somebody that is very organic meaning they love the earth they're really connected to mother nature and they don't really like fashion brands as well that's a very specific message you may also see the numbers 444 a lot that's an indication that this person is trying to connect with you So here are the words and also the initials that I was pulling for your pile. I also am hearing a song for this pile. It's going to be Anybody Else by the Moldy Peaches. So these initials, they can either be yours, the person that I was picking up on today, somebody that you love or that's close to you. And these words as well, feel free to pick out any ones that really resonate with your situation. Like I always say, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, make sure you subscribe, and I hope your life continues to stay as sweet as you are. Bye.